sense of that already by watching some of the things that have happened in the last 30 years as, as uh, that change has begun to take place. One of the few environmental indicators that's been going in the right direction for the last 30 years is uh, human fertility, population. Okay? 30 years ago, the average woman on this planet had six children. And all the kind of theorists and alarmists were saying the population is going to double and double again, and we were all... People went to work on that, first in the West, but very quickly in the developing countries of the world. Uh, people from those countries tackled this problem, realizing the threat that it represented. And what they discovered in culture after culture and in country after country was that the education of women and their empowerment to one degree or another was did the same thing everywhere. It quickly brought down the number of children that people had. Women, didn't, given some power to make the choice, didn't want to have six kids. The average, even if you exclude China with its mandatory one-child policy, in the rest of the world, the average is now about 2.9 children per woman, 2.7 children per woman, and falling. Um, demographers think that we're not going to uh, double in population again. We'll go from about six and a third billion at the moment to something like nine billion by mid-century. That's not going to be easy for the planet to deal with, but most of that's just built into the age structure of the population, the number of young people coming into their childbearing years. And what it really demonstrates, I, I think, is the way that um, smart, just social arrangements, policy change, work synergistically to do all kinds of good things. Um, you know, as population comes down, all kinds of other threats begin to diminish some as well. And we waited a long time to get started, unfortunately. But to me, that's the clearest proof that talking about gender equality um, is important, not just for abstract reasons of justice, but for the most um, palpable reasons, the most uh, practical reasons of, of, you know, resource distribution and, and the future that there are.